In this week's episode of Fix the Photo, we're going to look at our weekly challenge from our members on pack shots. And in particular, I'm going to make some minor adjustments to uh, this image by Phaeton Smith. Um, it's a really nicely lit pack shot. Can't really fault it too much. They've achieved a really good white background, a lovely reflection, a very nice attempt indeed. However, the thing that's letting it down dramatically is the leaning tower of pizza effect uh, happening to the products as you can see here. So we're going to very quickly and simply deal with that uh, and correct the shot. So let's just do that. I'm going to make a new layer. On um, this new layer, in this particular instance, I'm going to actually just get that particular product selected and I'm going to make a new layer of that, that particular product on its own. Then I'm going to edit, transform, distort and I'm going to lean that product over like so. Use the control key on a Mac to get a little bit more finesse on your adjustments. I'm going to grab that corner, pull that corner up to get the Elizabeth Arden packet horizontal at the top. I could have put in a horizontal guide as well, but I think that's okay for now. So that's that one taken care of. Looks pretty level and pretty straight. Let's now take a look at the other one. I'm going to just put in a couple of guides in the rough area where they need to be. I'm going to go back to that layer and I'm going to select that item. You may wonder why I'm selecting them separately, but I think they've got a slightly different lean angle on each one. Also, once I've got them separated, I can move them around a little bit as well. So Command J to make a new layer of that one. Edit, Transform, Distort. Grab the product, bend it over. Again, using the Control key, looking at my guides to see how that is stacking up. That's looking pretty accurate, although I'd say, I don't know why, the top left side looks a bit high to me, so I'm just going by eye here. And then I might just make the whole product a tiny bit taller once I've made that adjustment. There, that looks pretty good. Hit enter. I'm just going to clear these guides out the way now. We know that um, everything is nice and straight. We can delete that um, layer that we had below. If we flick these two layers on and off, there you can see the amount of lean and how far they were actually out. But now that I've separated them, you can see I've lost a bit of white on the edge there, but that's no problem. We can just take a bit of white paint paint that down. We've only got 14%. Let's add that up to 100%. Paint that down. Finish that off. Uh, but now I've separated them. If I want to, I can choose to basically nudge the layers around a little bit. So if I want them a little bit closer together or a little bit further apart, you can see the other images come through underneath, but that's not a worry because we can just paint white over that area if necessary. Um, so in this instance, I'm just going to give them a little bit more separation and then you can see that edge has come through there. So I'm going to add another layer below, an empty layer, and I'm going to sample the color alongside and then I'm just going to paint down over that and that is that fixed. So, um, so with those three layers off, that's what we had and that's what we've now got. Very simple using edit, transform and distort to make those corrections. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Fix the Photo. If you'd like to enter our members' weekly challenges, our critique shows or our briefs, head over to Carl Taylor Education. Thanks very much for watching.